you know, Dan and I named our band after Alfred McMoore, uh, who's an artist from Akron. And um, Dan's dad and my dad were kind of buddies with him and would help him out with various, uh, you know, kind of things that he would need to do his art and pencils and paper and crayon and kind of looked out for him. And through that process of uh, our dads getting to know him, they became familiar with the CSS and, you know, kind of started understanding all the things that that organization did to take care of people with mental illness in um, Summit County. And, uh, you know, when we first started kind of making money and started, you know, becoming familiar with, like, the type of charity that we wanted to work with, that was the first one that came to mind. So it's been kind of become the main charity that we, that we help out in Summit County. And I guess overall in general. Explain the, why, the name, where, how that came about. Oh yeah, well Alfred McMoore is, you know, um, he's an artist from Akron, had, you know, some mental um, disabilities. And he was schizophrenic, so he would, uh, he kind of, he would call people D-flats. And I think it's because he associated the black keys on a piano as sounding too dissonant and not sounding right. And if he, got, if he heard something he didn't like, or if you told him no, he would say, stop being a D-flat, stop being a black key. So that was kind of how we got the name. You know, I mean, that is exactly how we got the name, but it was like an inside joke, basically, between Dan and I. What's the deal with Akron? You guys, your buddy LeBron James, everywhere you go, you hear, you guys mention Akron. Why Akron? Why, is it, why does it mean something to you? Well, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, Dan and I love Akron. I'm sure LeBron loves Akron just as much. I think, you know, it's a special place and it's home for us. And uh, it's, you know, one of those cities that gets overlooked. You know, you always are hearing about, you know, Seattle or Portland, Chicago, Nashville, Atlanta, but uh, you're never really hearing about places like Akron. And I think any, everybody from towns similar to Akron tend to kind of be very proud of, uh, you know, their hometown because it's overlooked, and it is a special place full of special people. And it, you know, it just doesn't have as much of the uh, glitz and glamour as like, a, you know, a Brooklyn or something. But um, for us, you know, there's like, there's magical elements to Akron. I think you have to, you have to be from there to understand it. And I think everybody from Akron I know wants to share it with other people. So, you know. Speaking of that, Akron Devo just the other day lost to a drummer. What? Oh yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Devo, Devo was a huge inspiration for me growing up. Um, I don't think Dan really was that familiar with Devo until later on when we started playing together. But at that point, he became a big fan of the band as well. But yeah, growing up, I mean, when I was in high school, I used to listen to the first few records over and over and over again. And the drummer, Alan Myers, uh, was a huge inspiration to me, you know, um, just, you know, is a really creative kind of super tight drum beats that I can never play. You know, that's why I was kind of always mind blowing to listen to him play. And he actually used to jam uh, with my uncle Ralph. They went to Firestone together. Mm -hmm. So that was like kind of my uncle Ralph's introduction to music was with Alan. They would go play uh, what I guess what they thought was jazz in my grandparents' basement. Great. Yeah. And You've had a heck of a couple of years, way different from the life you used to have. Have you gotten adjusted to all this, or is it still kind of freak you out? I mean, I'm, 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 the past couple of years have been really insane, and, you know, it's, it's kind of really flattering, like, you know, the fact that Dan and I have won, you know, some awards and winning one tonight. But I still get really scared about just having to, like, say thank you into a microphone on stage. That's not, I don't have enough practice in that, talking into the microphone. But um, yeah, you know, it kind of, it's all been kind of surreal. Uh, and uh, you know, the past few months, we've kind of just been uh, taking a little bit of a break and uh, staying at home and watching TV. And it's now like the past couple of years are kind of, it's already starting to kind of seem pretty distant, which is actually a good thing because you start decompressing and stop feeling so caught up in the momentum of whatever was going on. So yeah, so, I mean, we're able to sit back, kind of just look at it and enjoy it. So.